Hello, and thank you so much for joining me. My name is Mademoiselle Lena, and you can find me online at www.conjurenits.com. Today is Wednesday, October the 7th, 2020, and we are here to do our daily tarot reading. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to be using Sawyer's Path to Row for our focus card. So let's see what Spirit is trying to tell us. Okay, Spirit. What do you have for us today? Wednesday, October 7th, Spirit. Wednesday, October 7th. Wednesday, October 7th. Do you have this space here? What do you have for us today? Okay, and we have the Four of Pentacles. People, hold on to your money. I really, really feel like you, during these very uncertain times, hold on to your money. This is, you know, it's about stability. It's about security. We need to hold on to what we have, especially, especially during these uncertain times. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because my mind is like, you know, there's just been too much shit going on lately. So, now we are going to see what animal spirit is walking with us, and we are going to be using Sawyer's Nature Portals. So... Let's see what animal spirit will be walking with us today. October 7th spirit. October 7th. What animal medicine do we need today? What animal spirit will be walking with us? horseshoe crab hmm this is a different kind of look it's like a horseshoe um, there are even people you know that live along the coast that put these um, the shell the body of the horseshoe crab above their door like you know people would normally do a oh, regular horseshoe the iron ones um, the horseshoe crab is one of the oldest creatures it's prehistoric we're talking about um, ancient wisdom, ancient wisdom. One of the really interesting things is they have nine eyes. So it's like they're able to see from any point of view. So I really feel like with the horseshoe crab, it is a different kind of luck, but it's a luck that we make because we can pay attention to our surroundings pay attention to what's going on around you and 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 be wise be very very wise about your decisions they've already told you that you need to hold on to your money so watch your surroundings pay attention to what's going on and be very very wise about it being wise is what's going to bring that different kind of luck for you Okay, so now let's see what our angels and ancestors have to say. We are going to be using the Angels and Ancestors Oracle Cards by Kyle Gray. Okay, Spirit, what do you have for us today? Today is Wednesday, October the 7th. Wednesday, October 7th, Spirit. Angels and Ancestors, Angels and Ancestors. What do you have for us? Okay. 
Okay, and we have Father Sky. Trust in the unknown. Know that everything is going to be okay. Have faith. Have faith. Don't go spending your money frivolously though. And still pay attention to what's going on around you. But know that in the end, everything is going to work out exactly the way it should. Okay, let's keep going. We are going to be using the Fairies Oracle by Brian Froud. Okay, Fairies, what do you have for us today? All right, Fairies. Today is Wednesday, October 7th. October 7th, Fairies, October 7th. What guidance can you give us for today? Okay, and we have Fairies of the Future. Wow, okay, um, this is very plainly talking about moving forward. These are the Fairies of a Bright Future and are essential companions on any journey. When these Fairies appear, it is time to consider where we have been and where we want to go. Hmm. Consider where we've been. The, the animal walking with us today is one of the oldest. It's prehistoric. It's telling you to, you know, think about everything that has passed. Everything that has passed since, the time, since time began. What all has transpired to get us where we are today? Is this where you want to be? Where do you want to be in the future? Hmm. There are many opportunities, many potentials, but we must choose a path and then take realistic, practical steps to bring about the desired future into being. We have to take a stand. We have to take a very bold stand in order to get what we want. Yeah, um, this is not a time to wait for things to come to us. Um, we have to, to, you know, meet them. We have to take the necessary steps forward in order to meet the goals that we want to achieve. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. All right. So, now we are going to be using the CBD Tarot de Marseille by Yohav Bindo. So, let's see what they are trying to tell us. Okay, Spirit. Do you have for us today? Oops, one. No? Okay. I thought one came out. Okay, Spirit. October 7th. October 7th. And we have the King of Wands. Man, I just love the way these things flow. This is an elaborate and artificial wand that represents creative energy or drives that are fully under control. If you'll notice here, look, the right foot points to the past, but the heel of the left foot is raised as if in movement towards the future. The pointed triangular shape formed on the right by the wand, the leg, and the arm and shoulder almost breaks out of the card frame. This expresses a dynamic urge to push forward. Hmm. Yeah. But it kind of looks too like he's about to stab his own heel. Maybe to like, you know curb that itch that he's got. Don't want to be compulsive. No, don't make any hasty moves. Go back to this ancient wisdom here. Um, 
Yeah, you need to, to to move forward, but move forward cautiously. Don't make any hasty decisions. Okay, and let's see what else we got here. Okay, and we have the Four of Wands. Yeah, I totally see where this is going. This is a temporary rest. It's preparing a base for future advancement. It's like a stalemate. It's telling you to stop and really think about things before you move ahead. Go ahead and take this time to enjoy your previous achievements. Change will come, but not right now. Not right now. Existing tensions are the source for new and creative future moves. So let's not forget about what's going on. Because, you know, we got those nine eyeballs on the horseshoe crab. We know everything that's going on around us. Don't forget that stuff. Take it and put it in a file in the back of your head so it's always there. Don't forget about it. Don't forget about it. Okay, and let's see what is next. We have the spirit. What do you have for us? Oh, there's one. All right, and we have the page of wands. Hmm, what a lot of wands. All, in fact, all of the Tarot de Marseille were wands. Okay, now listen up. The page of wands. He's got this big stick here. He's holding it out in front of him. It's like his shield, okay? He's shielding himself from something. It's, all, it's like he's protecting himself. And I can, yeah. All right, so what I'm seeing here is the focus card is the miser card, or what is sometimes called, or very oftenly called, the miser card in the tarot. Um, they're telling us, hold on to your money. Um, then above you, the animal spirit that is with you is the horseshoe crab. Now, this is luck. It's a different kind of luck. It's a luck that is created by using wisdom, by um, using all of your eyes to keep an eye on all of your surroundings. What's going on? What's going on? Pay attention to what's going on around you. Really, really, really pay attention to what's going around you. But trust in the unknown. Have faith that something better is coming. It is coming. There is perfect outcome in perfect timing. Have faith. It's going to happen. Then you, you move forward. You've got the fairies of the future. These guys are all looking forward, all looking forward. But they're telling you, with the Tarot de Marseille, they're telling you, okay, when it's time to step up and, and, and figure out what we're going to do for our future. And, and like I was saying, you know, the right foot is facing the, the, the past. So you're taking that ancient wisdom that is given to us with the horseshoe crab. We're not forgetting anything that's happened all the way back from beginning of time. How have people handled situations? What situation are you in? What's going on around you right now? And pay attention to all that. And remember, go back and do some research. Figure out what this is. This is a huge wheel. Things happen over and over and over again. They might have a slightly different name, but it's the same thing that's happened before somewhere else. Do some research. See how they contained it or solve the issue back then and use that to push forward into the future. Yeah, and but wait. Be very, very, what's the word I'm looking for? Methodical almost. Make a plan. Right now, hold your ground and wait until it's time. Wait for the perfect time. You've got to shield yourself right now. You have to shield yourself right now. Okay, 
I hope that this reading has resonated with you and will help lead you and guide you throughout the day. If you would like a more in-depth and personal reading, please go over to my website at www.conjurenits.com to book a reading. I hope you all have a very wise, healthy, prosperous day. I, I, but stand by, stand by. Don't, don't act just yet. Don't act just yet. The time is right. When the time is right, you'll know. You'll know. And do what you got to do to bring about the future that you want. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell. Like this video and share it with your friends. All right. Bye-bye. Love you bunches.